Hello and welcome back and we want to continue our talk and wrap up of Computex last week. Today we want to talk about Acer Store, a brand that we don't talk about as much on the channel but I think we're going to talk about them a lot more because of two main things, ADM and their divulgence into 2.5 GBE. Now we have talked about this on the channel before, the fact that their Nimbus Store series, their Cabinet Store series and their Lock Store series are now doing away with one gigabit Ethernet. They're the first company I know that have ever done this, not just in NAS, but in pretty much any meaningful way, to get rid of one gigabit Ethernet and replace it with 2.5 GBE. Now, you're not hugely familiar with Acer Store. I mean, we've yes, just found a bit of... No, a bit, yeah, not okay. much. Sorry, my bad. Um, well, it looks, yeah, very innovative. You could do actually a combination of um, Nimbus Store, 2.5 um, gigabit Ethernet, and QNIP adapter, 5 gigabit. Ethernet. Of course, yeah. So you can connect these things, because uh, Acer Store haven't thought about how they're going to connect this 2 gigabit um, box to the PC so you will still need to mm. buy either 2.5 gig uh, card or 10 gig card. Well, when well, you say that, there's a newer generation, particularly this year, one of the things was at Computex that I didn't really cover in any formal way was the number of brands out there with 2.5 GBE routers. Asus have a new, like oh, you'd expect Asus, Asus Store, they're investing heavily in this technology but also not just them with 2.5 GBE routers, because a number of their routers at the moment are pushing the boundaries into that much, much higher speed and higher bandwidth Wi-Fi. You know this whole area they have at the moment with breaking the barriers of the Wi-Fi connections that we know, and a lot of the time with these higher speeds, like in the Nighthawks, Nighthawk series from Netgear, we talked about it before, there's that extra like 5G and stuff like that Wi-Fi routers that you have to be closer to, but within that range, you have this enormous speed. So they've got a newer generation of routers that have got 2.5 GBE ports and that faster speed Wi-Fi. So you've got both ends there when you collect so, the NAS. So you connect via Wi-Fi, because that's going to be tricky, because not you know, with the Nighthawk series, they have actually pushed this the uh, Wi-Fi speed mm. up to like 1 gigabit speed. It's not nowhere close to 2 gigabits though. Mm. So you would still need the card, and I haven't seen that many 2.5 gig cards. So you yeah. need to spend still 90 quid or QNAP adapter, which is 50 quid. I mean, we've spoken about it a few times. 2.5 GBE as a standard is still very much in its infancy. Um, I'd be interested to see where it goes, because it's a strange number. I don't know why 2.5 GBE. We went 1 GBE being standard everywhere, 10 GBE becoming That's affordable, stumbling. but why not 5? That's the thing I've got real difficulty with. And again, this isn't you, Asus, always everyone. But I can't understand why we've made this jump to 2.5 GBE and not 5. Particularly with the adapter they've got out there. There may be. Maybe you... for them it matters. Every single penny probably. When you know thousands of units, it adds up. Mm. But I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what those performance tests are. I don't know if you guys caught uh, the computer test coverage. I don't want to be as arrogant as to assume you did. But they were running um, a high-spec gaming PC with the gaming library on a Nimbus store. So it was running via two, it was two connections, so it was a link aggregation of those two ports, so port trunked equaling 5 GBE, but it was running, I think it was Battlefield, I think the latest Battlefield, it might have been Battlefield 1, I'm not sure, but they were running that at a full speed, and the frames per second were spot on, you know, I was gaming there, I was having a good old while of a time, but, uh, you know, we've talked in previous videos about installing your Steam library on a NAS, because the game size is getting so, so big, but you want that speed that SSD gives you, but not the price. So 2.5 GBE NAS, and maybe an adapter card, or you have a PC that has a 2.5 GBE or a 10 GBE based e port, can be hugely advantageous, because it will be a lot more affordable. Um, and that one arrives with that new J4100 uh, series CPU as well. There's a good choice of CPU and HDMI 2.5, uh, 2.0A. So good. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's a so again, one. they've got that. That's a big, big step forward for them in the hardware front. And it arrives with a slightly modified version of their ADM software. So it has um, that sort of gamer appeal and stuff like that. And whether it's just a skin, I won't know until we've got the unit here in the studio. It looked lovely, there's no denying it. And they've got a bunch of really cool apps that I'll talk about later in the video, but um, the other thing that was my focus for them, even though they had lots of units at the show, the Lock Store and the Cabinet Store series, very interesting. Now, both of them arrive with 2.5 GB and 10 GB ports. So even compared with companies like QNAP, they had like two 10 GB ports, link aggregation, 20 GB, and then 2.5 GB ports. 
two of them, which could be link aggregated. So an effective 25 GBE potential bandwidth, whether it's divided or not. Now, oh, there's a fantastic noise there in the background, isn't there? But the lock store and the cabinet store series had um, these the, the different combination of CPUs. So the cabinet store has that atom based CPU, you know, that one that you love so much. Yeah, um, my cup of nose. Um, but the other one has an 8th gen um, Coffee Lake like quad core A3. So, you know, HDMI 2.0 there on the rear, I think 2.0 or 2.0A. Um, had those fast support, I think um, a USB Type C and maybe even 3.1 Gen 2, but I'll double check, do check that video just to confirm that. But it was in a really impressive Tembe, and they've modified the chassis and stuff. So, from a business user stance that wants to use their software, I can see it being tremendously appealing. Uh, particularly that locker store. That locker store was a damn nice looking device and the compact chassis and stuff. I know you're not as convinced as I am, are you? No, not really. Tell them why. Yeah. Have they worked much on like operating system? Well, the, well, the ADM operating system has definitely improved, most certainly. I mean, what, and the uh, last time I properly went into that software was more than a year and a half ago, and I'm looking forward to seeing how their latest version compares with that. But they do have a BTRFS operating system, uh, um, file system, I should say. Um, the usual stuff that you would expect, file management, um, snapshots, cloud migration, um, those sort of applications you would expect. They've also got an enormous support for third-party apps, much bigger than anyone else. However, there does seem to be a lot of chaff in that app center. Definitely something to think about. That app center has, there's apps in there for like Amazon Instant, and stuff like that. Um, I think that. I think I even saw Netflix, which you can't find on yeah. Kino. And it's they've got those apps, but they are more like browser-based. Uh -huh. They're just like modified browser apps. And I don't. I think that they're not really hugely supported. So it's not fair to judge them by that. But it's worth saying they have them. But at the same time, they have got a very good surveillance solution. They have got virtual machine support with VirtualBox, very well-known uh, virtual machine management software. Um, they have all, man uh, all manner of tiered backup solutions as well, as well as localized backup solutions too. They've got those HDMI outputs with keyboard video mouse support, KBM, and emulation and retro gaming. There's that coming back again with those applications you can install and connect to keyboard and mouse. This is all available and accessible via that user interface. Uh, via your web browser as well as container support as well with Docker. They've got all of the ingredients. The ingredients are there, they're just not getting the either the exposure or the marketing right. And that's why I'm looking forward to getting, particularly the Nimbus store, but the Nimbus store and the uh, Locker store, just to see, one, are they as good as they promise, and two, how do they compare against the current gold standards from Synology and QNAP? Because we've always, always talked about the third place in the food yes. chain. The top two places have always been well established at the moment. But the third place is constantly changing. I remember once when Ficus was third place. I remember when Drobo was third place. And now, for me anyway, Terramaster and Asus Store, for their own respective reasons, share third place for me. And I don't know which one's going to take the edge because their target audience differs and what you get for your money. I mean, based on what you know of both of these companies, what would you say for you is that third place? It doesn't even have to probably be there. Uh, it would be probably Asus Store. Mm. I can't think of any other than those. They've got a huge array of mobile phone applications. They've got loads of iOS and Android apps. They've got um, a remote control support as well. And they've got an app for a remote control. They've got all of those ingredients that the other brands have out there. Yeah. But whether Maybe. it's pedigree, demand, supply... I think it's marketing probably, do you think? Because they should, like, um, maybe do the same way like QNAP and Snodge is doing when they are outreaching for, for influencers on the YouTube. Mm. So there are, like, million subscriber YouTube channels. They're just talking about what is NAS, and it's particularly NAS of Synology or in QNA, and this mm. is where we're getting massive exposure now, and, and, and therefore as well marketing. They should probably try to do it the same way. Because Asus is this Herculean size and brand by comparison. That's what they were hoping, that name Asus is going to just um, you know carry them all the mm. way through, but it didn't, because Asus stole and people don't really understand. Mm. Is it really the same it brand? It's strange why it's not Asus now, but we're moving slightly yeah. away from the topic. <clears throat> I would say that um, at Computex, they definitely did a confident lineup there, and the, the products they've got there for the latest generation dwarf that of one year ago when they had the AS40 series, that um, cost effective 10 GBE, that didn't do as well as it might have, I think, in my opinion, just based on what I've seen of numbers and availability. Um, but on top of that, they just version 2'd everything. 
they just sort of went the existing range we're just going to version to it yeah. which has a tendency to be frank to piss people off because you end up with either one bunch of people that have bought a device and they've got version one or another bunch of people that are looking to spend the money and they're looking at the old range and going oh it's just a v2 okay <laughs> but again I, I genuinely am looking forward to seeing how Acer Store are going to play this with their newer generation of units because from what I can see They've got some great hardware there. They have invested lots of money, obviously, mm. to in these new models, and I think they're hungry for that third or second even place. I would just, I'm just looking forward to getting them here in the studio and doing like a full barrage of tests on it in real world scenarios. And the way we've done live editing um, of content of 1080p and stuff, and can we run a container application for things like Amazon Alexa and basically all the things that you guys buy so long as you're in QNAP for? Because everything, I'm sure you, the audience, as well as myself, a lot of what we know about Acer Store in the current sense is ethereal. It's all press release. It's not hands-on. They have a live demo as well, which I recommend that you check out to get some idea about the software. That is running on a particularly powerful Acer Store, so I'm not sure if that's a fair test. But I will say that I'm looking forward to going through the Acer Store range to see if it gives as much as they say it will. And, look, and I hope we start doing some comparisons in the near future with Acer Store versus Synology and QNAP, if that's what you guys want. But, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If we've missed anything or any of the products that are there that we didn't mention, do let us know. But otherwise, Eddie, is there anything we've left to say about Acer Store? Probably not. Oh, well, aren't you a cheerful devil? See you on the next video.